Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here. This Sunday is Valentine's Day, a love and cherishing holiday where you give your friend the perfect Valentine's Day gift, such as cards, candy, and dolls. Like this one right here, Snoopy. <laughs> well, make that too. <laughs> yeah. Or hell, even give them these. So I decided to review a peanut special. That's of course the Valentine's Day special that came out on January 28th, 1975. Called Be My Valentine, Charlie Brown. It stars Duncan Watson as Charlie Brown. Melody Kahn as Lucy Van Pelt. Stephen Shea as Linus Van Pelt. Lynn Mortison as Sally Brown, Linda Acoli as Barlet and Frida, and Bill Melendez as Snoopy and Woodstock. It's created and written by Charles M. Schultz, and it's directed by Phil Roman. The special begins when we meet Charlie Brown leaning on his mailbox outside waiting for a Valentine's Day card to arrive, while Lucy had showed up just to find out what Charlie Brown's doing and ends with a note by saying to him you'll need it. Then Lucy had went to Schroeder's house just to talk about love which unfortunately she destroyed his piano. Then Linus who was very fond of his teacher Miss Otmar decided to give her a Valentine's Day gift which turned out to be a huge heart-shaped box of chocolates like this one right here but Violet had warned him that it wouldn't be a smart idea for Linus to give her that and that suddenly Sally had showed up to find out that the gift that Linus had bought was for her so she decided to create a Valentine's Day gift for Linus which unfortunately Sally had trouble you know making one by cutting all these heart shapes and and using all the glue and pacing and yeah, she had trouble with that so Charlie Brown came over to help along with Snoopy which Snoopy actually created a Valentine's uh, musical jukebox yeah interesting enough they played a song from it's the Easter Beagle Charlie Brown yeah, even Snoopy showed um, Charlie Brown and Sally how did he do it. It was perfect. Yeah, I know uh, <laughs> Charlie Brown was doing it and then sort of messed up, you know, cutting all these you know, hearts, and diamonds, and all that. And then Snoopy and Woodstock started to pull some pranks at each other by taking the paper hearts and putting it on their noses. Later that day, Lucy went to a puppet show, and at the concession stand, she was about to ask for popcorn, but Snoopy couldn't understand, because he keeps giving her some candy and soda, until he, he finally understands. And then the popcorn machine had some problems. But then Charlie Brown narrated the puppet show, as Snoopy tells a story about true lovers, that became a bit too interactive for Lucy. <laughs> you know, Snoopy had dumped some water on her, as well as some dirt, and started uh, <laughs> banging on her too. Oh man, that, that was just hilarious. Then soon, Valentine's Day had arrived at Birchwood School, as the whole penis gang had brought in their Valentine's Day cards for everybody. Yeah, with Schroeder um, joining in to, to help out, they started sending some Valentine's heart-shaped candies. Yeah, you know, the ones that has uh, letters such as "Kiss Me" and all these other words too. Yeah, which I know Sally had one that has like a love message. Yeah, but then uh, Charlie Brown decided to bring a briefcase, hoping that he will get so many Valentine's cards, which unfortunately. He hasn't received any of them, you know, considering that Charlie Brown had gave some cards to all of his friends. So, that sucks. And even worse, 
He even gets a candy that says, Forget a kid. And Linus didn't even get a chance to bring Miss Alkmar the candy, which that's what leads to depression when just outside, Linus decided to throw all the chocolates away at the bridge. Yeah, this was that scene where he did this. I spent all my money. I made a fool of myself. This one's for love. And this one's for Valentine's. And this one is for romance. And this one is for Elizabeth Barry Browning. This one is for With Love D. And this one is for... And then all of a sudden, Snoopy and Woodstock had arrived eating all the chocolates that Linus had thrown over the bridge. <laughs> now we already know that since this is a cartoon that dogs can definitely get really sick or die from eating chocolates because it's poison. It, it could be very harmful for them completely. But hey, I'm, I'm glad that Snoopy and Woodstock didn't get sick. That's not realistic. But hey, it doesn't matter. But I ha had to say this was really cool that we get to see them eating all the chocolates. But then Charlie Brown is also feeling more depressed after what just happened that he threw his briefcase on the mailbox and kick it. Then the next day he woke up hoping that this time he finally did got a card maybe for the little redhead girl. It turns out that Snoopy I went inside the mailbox and gave Charlie Brown a kiss. And then he says, I hate Valentine's Day as Schroeder arrives. So then Violet and the rest of the gang have felt bad. So she decided to use her Valentine's card to give to Charlie Brown. And that's when Schroeder has started berating them by showing the true meaning of Valentine's. And so at the end... He says, don't listen to him. I'll take it. So then Charlie Brown and Linus had meet at the brick wall, you know, explaining what was going on during Valentine's Day, which yeah, didn't turn out so great for both of them. Yeah, because Charlie Brown started feeling bad for Schroeder after what he said. and But hey, at least he was lucky enough to have a Valentine, you know, considering that Violet had gave him the used Valentine card that they will soon become a trend. So it might happen next year. At this time he really will get some more Valentines by buying some more briefcases or so. And it ends. So yeah, it, it was um, a very special um, Valentine's for Charlie Brown. I mean, more narrowly, you do feel sorry for Charlie Brown for not receiving any Valentine's Day cards. In fact, Hard to believe because this was just like the special It's a Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown where they always keep giving him a rock instead of candy. So now millions of Americans out there decided to bring in all the candies for Charlie Brown and he finally got all of them. <laughs> but this time it's different because now he receives all of the Valentine cards for him. Yeah, perfect. Now, now we know exactly how he felt. Yeah, because that was really mean. I mean, Charlie Brown always gets all the shits these days when it comes to those specials. I mean, let's face it. All these kids are really cruel. I also feel sorry for Linus, too, after trying to give Miss Altmore the Valentine's Day gift. Which, sadly, she went to her boyfriend, you know, waiting outside so they can celebrate Valentine's Day together. Yeah, so it was too late. Well, Sally is feeling very bad because he thought that Linus was going to give it to her, but that didn't happen. Yeah. Sometimes Valentine's Day can be depressing. But... No matter what happens, there will always be a second chance. And that's what Charlie Bell learned that day, too. 
But it had plenty of funny moments in that special. Yeah, besides the the puppet show. I mean, God, I, I just couldn't stop laughing at that scene. I love the scenes where Snoopy and Woodstock were pulling pranks at each other. Yeah, where, especially that one scene where Woodstock was, uh, you know, getting revenge on Snoopy by <laughs> making himself a, uh, a paper heart. Yeah, bigger, bigger heart. And, and put it on Snoopy's nose. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it was fun. Yeah. It was fun. It had some wonderful music by Ben Scaraldi. You know, definitely worked so well. This was actually well made. They also had a sequel that followed this uh, that came out in 2002 called A Charlie Brown Valentine, which pretty much is based on the comics that's, uh, that's rolled into one. I mean, then again, all of the specials were. And I gotta say, Phil Woman did a great job directing this special because it really shows exactly what it'd be like if if Valentine's Day doesn't turn out as good as they hope for. But in the end, no matter what happens, you'll always be able to get a gift. So, there you go. That's Be My Valentine, Charlie Brown. The perfect Valentine's Day special. Five stars. I'm Joseph A. Saboro, and have a safe and happy Valentine's Day. And I'll see you later. Bye.